Good morning. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Teach Better Today morning show. My name is Ray Hewart and Katie Miglin is here. Needless to say, we are very, very excited to have this episode with you because it is Halloween. And I know that that leads to a lot of excitement and chaos. And maybe you're at home listening to this, getting ready for the day, putting on cool makeup or picking out your favorite Halloween shirt. I am a little tired, so I'm feeling a little grumpy. Maybe there's like a grumpy spooky I could lead into, but Katie is in the best mood ever because this is her favorite holiday. So we'll be right back for like the two extremes, like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> I can't handle Katie Miglin. She, if you are listening to the podcast and not watching, she has appeared on screen in a costume all of a sudden, like during that commercial has changed. Good good morning, Katie. How are you? Good morning. I I just need to be totally honest with our audience. I'm really sleepy this morning and it I just didn't have it in me at 5.30 to get ready. So this is all I have, but wait, you went through the entire commitment to put on that obnoxious pirate hat and like make this big, like excitement thing. And then you didn't even have like a one line pirate thing to, to fancy. Ooh, up I'm sleepy thing. today. Like, arg, welcome to the show, mateys. <laughs> I don't see. I didn't need it. Cause you were ready. You <laughs> had it. I don't, this is. The That's moment great. I the moment I saw the hat, I was like, "Oh boy, Sh what is it? Shimmer me timbers? What is it? That's not it." Yeah, that's a thing, right? I'm pretty sure that it was different words than what I said. Oh my gosh, I saw a meme this morning <laughs> that was like, "I hate when I'm listening to my favorite artist on the radio and they sing the wrong lyrics." <laughs> I'm like, "That's that's my life. <laughs> that's the story of my life." Literally, so I don't know that it's shiver me timbers, but. Someone put this in the chat. Yeah, it's something like that. Like, our yes. maybes. Hold on. What other stuff do I know? Um, buried treasure. Oh, the fact that you just blinked one eye was really cute. You should walk around like that. I was going to put the eye patch on, but I was worried about time. No, you weren't. I know you. You were worried about your hair because you're having an amazing hair day. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I was Okay, it was a combined. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get it on. And then my hair was going to be like sticking out in multiple places because it would get stuck. Because it's one that goes all the way around. Guys, can you just put in the comments that, that you would have wanted that? Like her her, her fear time. her fear is not appropriate. Yeah. Or it is appropriate. I don't know. You're having, a, you're having a really good hair day. How are you going to dress up for Halloween? And like do stuff with the kids and like all the fun that that comes with this crazy day when you are looking so stunning. Like, what's your plan? Okay, well, I do want to know this from our audience. If anyone who's listening live, happy Halloween. Good morning. Good morning. Our kids don't like where we're at. They celebrated Halloween at school on Friday, like last week. Wait, so, wait, wait. Yeah. So they have like like today's like a normal day for them. Other than trigger treating tonight, but okay. Wait, so wait, is that a thing? I didn't. That's I don't really know. Is that a thing? And in our district, so we, as you know, we went. We taught in the same district. This area, there's like I don't know, a lot of middle schools, high schools, and elementary schools. Every elementary school does it differently. So like our our kids had a party on Friday. Our, one of our friends teaches at another elementary. They don't do any costumes or any, like, they do, like, a fall fest. Um, somebody else we know does a parade. Like, it's just, like, super different. So I really want to know, like, if you are if you have kids in school or if you're an elementary teacher, what does your school do? Do you acknowledge it? Do you not? Do you do costumes? Like, tell me all the things. Because I do think it's so interesting, the vast differences and what happens. Well, and we could mention that for middle school and high school, because I yeah. know there's so many rules, but elementary school typically does fun 
parties, for holidays that seemingly Halloween would fall into. Or depending on the culture of your building, like depending on the area, they, yeah, they may yeah. not acknowledge Halloween. Maybe they just do something fall. Um, okay. Yeah. One person told me that their principal, they, they came from a really small district. This is like a friend of ours. She said that their principal always planned parent teacher conferences on Halloween <gasps> so that they never had the kids in the building. And I was like, Oh my oh. gosh, that's smart. Yeah, in some regard, I'm like, wait, that's terrible. And then other regard, I'm like, wait, actually, doesn't that kind of work for parents? And it kind of avoids some. That's what I mean. Halloween is one of those holidays that I'm thrilled. I'm all about find a reason to celebrate every single day. So, like, if your thing to celebrate today is Halloween, then like, yippee, glad that, that this exists for you. Mm-hmm. But um, I just hate this holiday, and I don't know. I know I'm saying that to you. This is literally your favorite holiday on the planet. This is like my least favorite holiday. So I want to hear in the comments if you are like pro Halloween, totally neutral, or if you don't like it. To me, this holiday just ensues bad behavior, like in every shape of the word. <laughs> so- okay. And full transparency, the reason it is my favorite holiday is we don't live by family. And so every major holiday that typically is on people's like favorite list, Christmas, Thanksgiving, those things, we are not in our home. So this became like a tradition in our house when my husband and I bought our house. This was like our first holiday we spent in our house where we did like the decorating. We got to celebrate that night because it's a lot of times it's on a weeknight, you know, obviously. Yeah. And so it became kind of like our thing and that's why I think it's like evolved into my favorite because as a kid I loved it but I don't know that I like loved it more than any other holiday it's definitely been in the last like 10 years that it's become my favorite so well I'm not looking to be negative I just think that today is all about having a good time keep like staying lighthearted. Yeah. if today's a little bit more challenging because it's crazy out like in terms of, you know those days where it's like oh it was a full moon so it's gonna be a crazy school day right just like, embrace it, it. Just acknowledge that today's just going to be a little wacky. And I feel like then you're going to go in and get at the best bang for your buck for this experience. Like, don't try to make today something that it doesn't need to be. <laughs> and like, don't force like seriousness. You know, like I, yeah. I know there's like a lot of days in the year where it's like today can be a serious day or you can get a lot done. Like if you go in today thinking I'm going to get everything on my to-do list accomplished, the kids are going to go through my lesson plan perfectly. Like you're setting yourself up for failure. So just go in knowing it's going to be wacky, but enjoy it. Have a few laughs. And if nothing else, drink a giant cup of coffee. I do always love seeing what costumes everybody like is going to be, whether they are actually wearing them in front of me or just like fostering conversation in the classroom of what their plans are, what, what costume, like even when we taught, I taught sixth grade and Like, they don't want to admit that they're really excited to go dress up, but they are. Mm -hmm. And I know that we've seen that at, like, every grade level, even though they think they're too cool for for doing it. So Mm -hmm. um, that'll be fun. I just want to give a shout out that I think that our girls – oh, my God, can I say this on the podcast? Nobody watches this on my family. Do not text my my family when I say this. My girls have failed at the Halloween costumes this year, in my opinion. So I will give them one slip up in their life. This year's the year and they need, they need to get it together for future costumes. Okay. I don't want to like open this can of worms, but I do feel like this Halloween is a little anticlimactic. Like many people I've talked to has said that they didn't really have a costume plan until last minute. The plans were kind of like thrown together. Like, I just feel like overall, maybe it's because October flew by. Like, I don't know if that you agree or disagree. I'm falling apart over here. But like (laughs) October, I felt like went so fast. I don't know if that's part of it, but I would love to know if you are someone that's like, yep, Halloween totally like jumped on us. We had like all the things and and nothing. No, there's, see, I don't know that I agree. I want to be a little positive this Halloween. Like, I feel like there was a lot of different costumes people could jump into. I do. I mean, I think October flew by this year, but I think that, I mean, we always have like those benchmarks where it's like, okay, end of September, we got to start thinking about Halloween costumes. It's our plan for for the family. But here's my argument. I'm saying this in a safe space. Please keep this 
internal in our teach better family friends. Um, so we have two girls and our plan with, with there's four parents in our family and our plan was to do an entire family costume because six people, right? Six people. So it's four adults, two different households and the kids obviously with, with us, two kids and two dogs, but the dogs aren't dressing up. So I was like really excited. Cause last year we did like two different costumes mm-hmm. For the family group. And it was like really confusing because we didn't even like match partners. Anyway, it was cute, but like we were like, all right, this was, this will be better. We're doing it all together, trying to be like proud co parenting. <laughs> so right. we get excited about um, the costume. We really didn't know what we were going to do every, you know, throughout the year, brainstorming, kind of joking. This is the one thing that we like kind of do together intentionally outside of birthdays and stuff. And all of a sudden, apparently the week that we were going to pick costumes, the girls are like, nope, we don't want to do a costume together. And I'm like, well, you're not really doing a costume together. You're doing a costume with the whole family. And they're like, no, you know, it's like that week where you like decide you hate your sister for no reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So they decide on two different costumes and the parents are then going to match one of the costumes. So it's like exactly what we did oh. last year. Okay. So we're like, okay, fine. Like I, we're getting on board, right? Pick your battles. And the two costumes, when you look at them, the girls are being the same costume. And I'm like, okay. So one of them is being Wednesday, which is like black wig, black braids, black. She's doing like the black fun, funky dress from that awesome scene. Yeah. And black lipstick, like, you know, like really fun. Um, The other one is being the kid from Beetlejuice, which is a black wig, black dress. She's got a black veil from like the wedding scene. Oh, they're both being like goth kids, but one has one has two braids and one has a bob. I'm like, this is the same. They're even wearing like these dresses that look almost identical. These are like the same characters. I want to, I'm going to need to look this up. Look it up. Like like Google it. Cause like, I don't remember the Beetlejuice girl as well. Like it's like, like, yeah. Google like Beetlejuice black wedding dress is essentially what she's wearing. And it looks like Wednesday with a bob and a black veil. I haven't seen Beetlejuice in a hundred years. Can you guys tell me like, when was the last time I watched Beetlejuice? It's been a hundred years for me. I need to, I need to probably do that. I feel like maybe that's our homework because we need to watch that today. That could be good homework. Wait, like, the Beetlejuice like image that I was popping up, she's in red. No. So maybe it's a maybe it's not the wedding. She's in a black dress. <laughs> no, yeah, she has a black one too. Okay. All right. Well, but either way, do you see it's like a it's a chick, same kind of age. You're going to struggle with that pirate hat over there. You, yeah, you doing okay? Not. Anyway, so that is my definition of a Halloween fail. Because we're, like, not doing a costume together. But, like, the girls are going to end up being duplicates of each other. All right. I'm looking. I, I understand your concern. What are your kids being? Peter Pan and Hook. It, hence the hat. Is the yeah. hat... Okay. Just literally stole it from Stella's costume because she didn't need it today. Because yeah. friends, I like I like this conversation. All right, we are going to transition into some sort of conversation. I think we'll do a listener question or something. Maybe Katie okay. has an idea. But um, if you have a costume that you are wearing, like whether you are handing out candy, going trick or treating, maybe you're wearing a costume for school and like then going to be in comfy clothes this evening. Whatever works for you today please put it in the comments. Even if you are deciding to be just like the coolest teacher on the planet, which is your everyday costume, like let us know. I would love to hear kind of what people are doing. I don't know the name of the character I'm being. Oh boy. So I need to look it up later today, but I, so I can't explain my costume, but I have all the pieces. What are you doing? Are you going to admit it on the show? Uh Uh-uh. You have to wait until seven hours from right now. To see okay. it. Teacher talk, team talk, guacamole chippy time. See, she takes this way too seriously.
Hey everyone, welcome back to Teach Better Today morning show where the Teach Better team gets to be a part of your morning every single day, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern. We did some gossiping and some blabbing. Now we do want to make sure we give you some sort of educational discussion, get your brain moving this morning, even though it's going to be a pretty casual day ahead. Uh, it's always good to get us thinking. Katie, I think we should do a listener question um, and I'm going to really restrict your question uh, number options, if it's okay with you. So you're not going to give me like a range of 200 like you usually do? No, because I don't, I just don't want to be that, that cool today. I'm going to give you options, questions eight through 30, just pick eight through 30. Cause then I don't have to scroll. Cause I'm looking at, I'm literally looking at eight at the top, all well, the questions 31 is, I can, is like slightly cut off. So it's like 12. 12. Are you crossing these off when we go? Because I don't pay attention to what numbers I give you. Yes. I So I, um, I like delete them when we've talked about them. So if you ever pick a number twice, it's not going to be the same question because I give it up. Got it. Okay. Okay. I got 12. You ready to hear this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What do you do when you no longer feel a part of your teaching team? <sighs> Start question. This is what a, do you do? This is a hard question because I, I think you know. When if you are writing that question, I think you know, but you need validation. Would you agree? Well, I think we should discuss it because I do believe that there is a very common misconception around this answer in terms of what fears to be concerned about and what things really don't exist in the world, but we've been taught that they do. Can you elaborate? Okay. So in my opinion, if you were asking the question of like, what do you do if you don't feel part of your teaching team any longer? I would have like two parts to that answer. I even answered this one recently on my Instagram. The first step is like, I personally am a relatively blunt black and white kind of person. I would talk with my team about it if I felt like there was any hope in saving it. So I, if, if whether that be a team meeting, maybe write a letter, something that's like, I'm trying to put this out there. I'm trying to do it in a non-abrasive way. I'm feeling disconnected. Is there any resolution to, to making this a better experience for myself? And I do also think that that should be like very, very well crafted. Even like email Katie and I, your, your email, maybe like draft it first. Like we would, I would love to see it. You want it to come across like very, very open to solutions. And yeah. so that would be my initial. The second part of this answer to me is then it's ready for you to take a step in a different direction. And there's no reason to be in a role in education, especially part of a teaching team that you don't feel connected to anymore because there are so many opportunities of other experiences to have in this field. I will say though, Katie, even now, which is so surprising to me, even now there's this fear and misconception that leaving or changing your job means that first off, you may not find a job. Second of all, that it will look bad on like a resume or look bad to a leader. And there's this misconception that like your boss like can prohibit you in finding the role that you want moving forward. And I've just learned more and more. I don't know if this was just how we were brought up in education, but I've learned more and more that these things actually don't exist in the way that they do in, in my mind. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. I think sometimes I, I agree with you, but I do think there sometimes is this notion of I did something wrong, which is why the relationship fizzled or fell apart or whatever happened. Um, so I do think you have to provide yourself a little bit of grace to, to just know that when you entered that teaching team, you were a different educator because every year you grew. And so for whatever reason, if you're not connected anymore, I agree, address it. If you want to make it work and repair it, great. But also it's okay to navigate somewhere else because you're a different teacher than you were. And so I think sometimes we have to like tell ourselves that we have to kind of coach ourselves through that because it does sometimes feel like I've done something wrong. I'm no longer connected to somebody that I was connected with three years ago, a year ago, whatever. 
But the reality is it, it could just have just happened. Life happens. They're a different educator. You're a different educator. It's okay. But what do you want out of teaching? Some people are like, I don't, I don't necessarily need my teaching team to thrive. You know, I did. I wanted, I wanted my connection. I wanted that like family unit, but I don't, you know, if you, if you're not looking for that, then like, okay, that's a different situation. But my guess is if you're asking this question, you're looking for some sort of connection and you want to feel connected to your team. And so either make it the correct steps to repair that or navigate yourselves away from it and find something else. There also, at least in my experience, has been guilt that mm-hmm. you can't make it work. And in, right. in, in my mind, or like guilt in leaving. And I don't oh, understand yeah. that. Like, I think teachers are, at least we used to be, and so many of us in the field had this background, but we believed that the role we were in, we should be in for as long as humanly possible. And I think that is a drastic misconception now, especially nowadays, maybe three decades ago, it wasn't the case. And I'm not negating that reality, but, Mm -hmm. but right now there is zero reason that because you've been in a job two years or three years that you cannot have evolved out of it or need a different role. Like, I think that is something that I know I have like really struggled with, especially early in my career is this misconception that like, all right, I'm a sixth grade math teacher. This is the job I wanted. I'm, I'm, I'm in this school, unless I move, there's no reason to change roles. And that's not the case. You don't have to move. No, you can change. But roles. I do, I do want to counter. Um, I, I think the big kind of thing that's been happening in society, and I know we're almost out of time, but this idea that like, we just can jump automatically. I, I would challenge you if you are questioning your connection, your, your happiness, whatever you're questioning, take time to self-reflect and fi- and try to pinpoint what is it? Because, you know, if you look at social media, there, it, it seems like there's this mass exodus and that isn't what yeah. we're really talking about. It's more, you've kind of, you've reflected, you've thought through, I, I need either a change of my role within the role of education, you know, like maybe you're deciding I want to be an instructional coach and, or I want to go back to the classroom or whatever, but like, you really have to reflect and don't let the outside factors impact what is going to really help you and be successful. Yeah. I think you're spot on. You're a hundred percent correct that there's this, there's also the extreme opposite happening in the world right now where it's like, people think they don't have to problem solve working through a dilemma or they're leaving yeah. education. I'm literally thinking about you're not getting along with your teaching team in third grade. Go find a different third grade position or move to fourth grade because you can do that. Like I'm thinking yeah. about you're not leaving education because you don't you're not getting along with your teacher team. You're just like adjusting your day to day job because you can. But it'll be interesting. Um, Full transparency, friends. Katie and I like do this all the time. I cannot tell you. This week alone, I have like four meetings with people that are in education, love education, not looking to leave education, but just want to know what options are out there, want some coaching and some encouragement that they can apply. And they want like kind of a third party's eyes on their resume. Like I love this stuff. Just reach out to us. Let us know. We might know somebody who's hiring. Mm -hmm. Um, There's so many different resources that our team has, even just to encourage you as Katie's fixing her pirate hat. So um, we're here to help. If you are somebody who either submitted this question or this question resonates with you, where you feel like you're not really getting along with your teaching team anymore, like let us know how we can help. Because problem solving through that is something that I feel like we have a lot of stuff to be able to provide you with. So, yeah. oh my gosh, it's Halloween. All right. They're going to go, really like, go out singing a song like this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Oh, I'm so glad we just got you this thing. Joshua Stanford, cut that clip up. This should be in every single year clip that gets. <laughs> so Katie, we're going to go out with a bang. Tell people to have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. And Katie, if you could, if you could sing while I click the button, that would be great. This is Halloween. This is. Hey, Teach Better community. Thank you so much for joining the Teach Better Today morning show every single weekday at 7 a.m. Eastern. 
We have so many resources for you outside of this live stream at teachbetter.com, including blogs, podcasts, and professional development that will bring our team to your school. Wherever you are listening from this morning, please make sure you are sharing and celebrating the incredible educators in this world. And hey, if you are listening over on a podcast to Teach Better Talk, we would love a five-star review. (laughs) The comments are always so entertaining. (laughs) We'll see you tomorrow. 